So to get started, I actually already have my foundation on. I just did a first impression on the YSL foundation, which I absolutely love it so much. Um, check out that video in the description bar where I leave an update. I'm definitely going to include it in my upcoming favorites video, and I'll kind of update you guys more through there, but I really, really loved it. So I'm going to be using my new 3D HD uh, Sigma brush to blend out my Maybelline concealer. As always, all products will be listed down below as well. And to set my face, I'm going to take my Rimmel Stay Matte in Translucent and just set all over my face. And then for the under eye, I'll be using my Bare, Miner Bare Minerals uh, Well Rested Powder. And now to bronze up my face, I'm going to be taking my NARS brush, but just using it very loosely with my Joe Fresh bronzer, and just kind of popping that all over very loosely. And then I'm going to take a darker bronzer by Vasanti, and kind of contour a little bit more with that, and give it a little bit more of a structured contour. And for blush, I'm going to be taking my Lady Clean um, Blossom Blusher in the shade Berry Sorbet. And then for highlight, I'm going to take my Vasanti um, Golden Child Highlight. And as always, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera as well. So I do have a full brow tutorial that I'll leave down below. And of course, I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. So this eye look is going to be extremely messy and smoky and soft and sultry. So it's amazing for beginners because you don't have to be perfect and precise. So I'm going to use all Makeup Geek shadows and I'm going to be taking um, a E35 and just popping that above my crease. Again, like super messy and just, I don't want to say crazy, but you know, you don't got to be too precise. Just be very messy and whatever I do to the top. Um, you'll see that I do to the lower lash line as well. So I take that same shade and put it on the lower lash line really messily and just do very like soft, smoky, messy um, bedroom eyes type of look. So I'm going to take the shade Latte and switch to an E35, no E25. And I'm just going to put that into the crease. And you'll notice that I, again, kind of take it down and bring it to the outer V. But I also go in and deepen up the color as much as I want. So you can just go back in and kind of deepen it up to your liking. And again, whatever I do to the top, I do to the bottom. So I'm just taking that and putting that on my lower lash line. I'm also just going to switch to a more concentrated brush. This is the E36, and I'm taking the same shade Latte and just putting that on the lower lash line. So I'm going to take a black shadow called Corrupt and just pop that on the outer V. I'm popping it on with an E30, E25, but then you'll see me blend it out with an RC Cosmetics brush. And again, just blending it and making it look super smoky. I'm also going to take that black shade and put it on my lower lash line as well. And then taking my new Sigma 3D HD Precision Brush, I'm going to take my um, paint pot again and just clean up the outer eye just a little bit just so that it's not completely out of that kind of area. And then I'm going to take a Rimmel um, pencil and just line that top lash line and kind of just smudge it out. This also just helps make it look very sultry and smoky and give it a little bit of extra definition. I'm also going to be tight lining it, uh, meaning on the top waterline and the bottom waterline as well. And then I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush and just go through everything all over just one last little bit just to make sure it's all blended. And then I went ahead and did my mascara and these were the two that I used. And so for the lipstick, I'm going to be using this brown lipstick by Rimmel. It looks really nude and like peachy in the tube, but it turns out completely like this mauve gray-toned 
deep brown on me and I absolutely love it. It's such a different shade for me. Um, I'm sure you guys will like it as well. I really, really, really enjoy it. So this is pretty much the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Just a really soft, smoky, sultry kind of look for fall. Um, if you did like it, please give me a like, thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah. I went with the BR20, which is the BR is beige, beige rose, and rose is more of the cool tone. And then they have like B, which is just, just beige.